Hello everyone, Mark here. Hope you're all keeping well. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the Turbo Racing 176 scale micro RC vehicles. Banggood were kind enough to send me these little vehicles for a review so I can see if the hype behind these vehicles is real or not. I must admit, I'm really excited to actually getting them out of the box, testing them, and giving you my thoughts and opinions on these little RC vehicles. So first of all, we're going to do a review and test on the C73 car. As you can see, looks pretty cool, but let's see how it actually performs. So stay tuned, watch the video, and you're going to find out everything you need to know about this little vehicle. Okay then guys, so I've got everything out of the box to give you a nice closer look. We're going to run over everything about this vehicle, specifications, uh, performance, stuff like that, build quality, and then we're going to uh, take it to a little racetrack, give it a little zip around, have a bit of fun with it, and then we'll come back to the desk and I will do a final thoughts and opinions on this turbo racing c73 to find out if the hype is real and whether this is really worth the price tag that these things have so first of all let's quickly go over everything we see here it comes with an instruction manual and i do recommend you reading it because it's very informative shows you exactly how to operate the vehicle what each button does on the transmitter it also shows you how to bind it uh, and take the thing apart because you can take these things apart and it gives you a parts list as well so have a read of that you've got another manual here just showing you how to insert the batteries etc so i'll quickly go over the little bits it comes with it comes with a usb type c charging cable with a little body clip here this body clip you use to bind the car to a transmitter they do come pre-bound but you can pair these with other transmitters as well because it runs off of the standard fhss uh, frequency so you can pair it to like a better quality controller if you want this one here is like a 10 model memory so I could basically have 10 of these models running on one of this uh, this transmitter if I want to so yeah it comes with a charging cable uh, it comes with two spare body shells this is a really nice touch I think so you can paint these yourself customize it so you can have an individual looking uh, c73 model now these things kind of look like toyota supras don't they so yeah very cool looking it also comes with two little bags of bits so you're going to get spare light buckets so you don't have to reuse the ones on here comes with spare spoiler and stuff like that very very cool so let's put them to one side i can't wait to actually paint these i'm going to paint one my little girl's going to paint one so that'd be quite cool so the transmitter itself the transmitter this is the basic turbo racing transmitter uh four channel 2.4 gigahertz obviously to feel though the quality does feel quite nice i actually like these transmitters i think they're better quality than some very expensive models even like my armor models i prefer this transmitter to those and i actually prefer this transmitter to the wl toys transmitters as well um the wheel is quite um how can i say it? it's not a very tight steering wheel so it's going to allow for quite precise movement hopefully um it is powered by four triple a batteries quickly show you that now just like so now um i've got no fingernails so i have to use a screwdriver to tighten it up underneath here you've also got your little switch which pushes up the usb type c charging port so you can charge the car directly from the transmitter on the top here you've got your on off switch but if you have it in the center position it allows you to charge the vehicle which i'll show you a bit later um, it has your steering dual rate, your uh, your steering trim, your throttle dual rate and your throttle trim. You've got your steering reverse switch and then your power limiting switch, which allows you to switch from 20%, 50% and 100%. You've also got a channel three button here, which uh, helps control the lights and the LED on the bottom of the controller you've also got a channel 4 toggle switch which has three positions uh, which um, 
changes the lights and what they do. So that is basically it for the transmitter. It does feel quite nice. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. So I'll quickly show you the charging function. So to charge the car, you just literally press the button in, insert the car onto it like so, turn the car into, turn the on off switch into the middle position and then you will see an LED charging light. It takes about 35, 40 minutes to charge this thing from flat. As you can see, once that light would go off, the car is fully charged. You can even change the color of that LED which is a really cool feature. Um, so yeah, very simple, but it works really well, doesn't it? So let's take that off, turn the transmitter off. The car itself, guys, this car is absolutely tiny. You can remove the body shell by obviously undoing these two screws, but the body, uh, the car itself is absolutely tiny, as you can see, and we quickly go over some specifications then. So it's a two wheel drive vehicle, it is, 60, cent, uh, 60 millimeters long by 24 millimeters wide with a height of 11 millimeters and these wheels are 8.5 millimeters in diameter which is absolutely tiny but they are rubber tires so this thing has a good amount of grip and this thing only weighs 15 grams this thing is ultra lightweight but it actually feels quite sturdy it doesn't feel like a cheap plastic it feels good quality quickly show you a one tenth touring car wheel look at the size of that absolutely awesome these wheels as well fully aluminium i'm going to leave a link in the description below to where you can get these wheels from i'm going to do a full review on these because these are beautiful so back to the car then as you can see yeah just really really nice nice compact size and it does feel like quite nice quality. So what we're gonna do, I'll quickly turn it on, show you the lights, etc. take it for a little spin, but then I'm gonna take it um, around, I'm gonna build a little racetrack, take it around the racetrack, and basically, once we've had a little play with it, I'll come back to the desk and we'll do um, a final thoughts and opinions on this thing and tell you whether it's worth your hard earned money or not. So let's quickly have a close look at the car. Okay, so for this section, I thought I'd get a nice closer look at the car for you. So let's turn on the transmitter, just like so, and then we'll turn the car on. Awesome, look at that, that's so cool. So you've got, um, if you press your channel three button here, it actually turns on the um, chassis light. So you've basically got like underbody lights there which looks really cool you can obviously turn on your headlights by switching the channel 4 button which turns on your front and rear lights you can flash by pressing the channel 4 button just like so so you can flash other drivers and it's just really cool looking and like I say the brake lights work as well so we'll quickly do that in shot very very cool now another thing with this vehicle the electric speed controller gives you full function so basically you've got forwards and then brake then reverse which is a nice little feature so what we do is quickly zoom out just a little bit just like so and give it a little zip around that does feel really really smooth okay I'm really I'm actually surprised how nice that feels that actually it's not twitchy at all okay I'm really impressed with that that does feel quite nice so what we're going to do let's take it to a racetrack and then have a little play and then come back to the tabletop and I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions okay then so let's take the little car around the homemade racetrack see how well it performs I'm going to go straight in and go to 50% power and we'll give it a little zip around and see how well it does. So here we go then. So that's full throttle, 50% power. Now these things are meant to do roughly three mile an hour, I think. Um, that is so much fun. <laughs> it performs really, really nicely. It's not twitchy whatsoever. It actually does feel like a 
full size RC. It really is really responsive. Okay, so let's park it up, switch to 100% power, and have a little zip around. Oh yeah, that's much better. As you can see, done a wheel spin there. Um, this tabletop is quite slippery, so uh, we'll see how well it goes. That's not full throttle. I'm just getting used to the track. It's the first time I've actually used this little track. I'll open it up now. Oh yeah, that's nippy. Really nippy. This is quite a small track. This is under a metre in length. So, oh yeah, that's great fun. This is so much fun. I could be out here for ages. Considering the uh, surface is quite slippery, it's got pretty good traction. But on the actual racetrack that I've ordered, the car's going to grip it that little bit more better. And because these are only real wheel drive, uh, you're going to get a little bit of slide out. But that's quite it's cool. It adds to the uh, adds to the fun. To be fair, okay. That's pretty fun, I really like that. So, let's go back to the tabletop and I will give you my final thoughts and opinions on this little Turbo Racing 176 scale RC vehicle. Let's be honest guys, it's just awesome. Back to the tabletop. Okay then guys, so final thoughts and opinion on this Turbo Racing C73. I think it's awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, it performs really well. Um, I've been having so much fun with this and my little girl actually loves it as well. Uh, we've been having some fun races with it. Uh, quality, is it's good quality, it really is. Um, you're gonna get a good run time from it. I'm surprised how nicely it feels when you're actually controlling it. I thought it was gonna be a bit twitchy on the controls, but it's not. It actually feels like you're controlling a full scale RC model, but you're not. You're controlling a tiny little vehicle. So yeah, very, very impressed. And I can see me getting a few of these, to be fair. Um, my wife actually wants the mini version and she's not into RC stuff, but she thought this was so cool and saw how much fun me and my little girl was having racing around the track. And my wife wanted to join in, so I've now got to buy my wife the mini version so she can play as well. So that's a good little thing, sh uh, sharing the hobby with the family. As you can see, I've also got the little monster truck here and I will be doing a full review on that and I will leave a link in the description below to where you can pick both of these up in fact i'm going to leave a link to all of the versions of these turbo racing vehicles so you can choose what one you want but the car is absolutely awesome i am so impressed so yes for the money they are quite expensive they range from 55 to 70 pound depending on uh, the deal going at the time yes that is quite expensive but to be honest because of all the features that you get in this little vehicle it's worth the money um and it's not like a one of those gimmicky little rc vehicles that just don't control nice or don't feel nice this thing feels really good like i say i have just as much fun controlling this as i do my one tenth scale touring cars which is crazy just thinking about even saying that to be fair but yeah highly recommend them guys go grab one of these uh if you're only going to choose one between the car the monster truck 100 go for the car in my opinion it's got more features it feels nicer um so yeah go grab one of these i'm waffling on now so i'm going to cut this video here thank you so much for watching guys if you've got any questions please leave me a comment and I will get back to you. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, but more importantly, happy RCN and take care. Bye-bye.